Some people might say, well, change is constant and therefore cult, you know, what you have to do build within a culture is the ability to synthesize constant change. And I, I think that that's a big oversimplification. As a matter of fact, what I, what I tend to see is companies that are going through change after change after change, uh, it, it becomes to some extent overwhelming and people just sort of, they don't ignore it, they kind of go along with it, but, they, but companies don't, in that kind of a mode, in that kind of a culture, they don't necessarily get the benefits out of everything because really the employees are just trying to survive. There, and then I think um, some of the questions that are really starting to emerge um, are around things like RPA, robotic, pro uh, robotic process automation, um, and artificial intelligence, where we're potentially thinking of massive displacements of people. How are businesses going to cope with that in order to capture the benefits of RPA and AI? Um, are we going to retrain and redeploy all those people? If we can't do that, or if they can't be retrained and redeployed, what's our responsibility as the corporation? And At the same time, well, people are wanting to implement new processes and they're wanting to not have the same type of technology spend so uh, they're going to cloud. As those organizations start to migrate more and more of their applications to the cloud, right, um, the, the need for many of the roles within the IT organization begin to go away. You can look at these disruptive technologies um, in, in, in the way in which those technologies are being applied to either business processes or ways of working, right? And then think about what can you do from a change and, and sort of a business readiness and adoption point of view um, to help people overcome the natural you know, concern and anxiety and, and in many cases frustration and, 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 and fear of those new disruptive technologies, whether it's AI, whether it's you know, some type of robotics, um, you know, cloud-based applications, right? So I think people absolutely see that. I think people are reeling. They see what's happening around them. Um, as one client said to me, the message is don't get Kodak to Uberize. Um, so with the sense of these massive disruptions, everybody sees it. And I think so many people are wondering in one form or another, when is it coming to my door? When is it either happening to my job or when is it happening to my company where I'm responsible for thousands of people? And I have to, to respond with that agility and I may have to make some really, really tough calls. Um, and so the opportunity now from a, from a change and enablement perspective in the IT world is again to sort of help those those individuals and that organization figure out what they're going to do with those people. And then the question becomes, you know, are those individuals even possessing the skills to do that kind of work? So I think those are the things that we're going to see when we, when we look at organizations that are moving more and more to the cloud. And one of the things that's very interesting, I actually sit on an advisory board on the future of education, gender, and work for the World Economic Forum. And a topic that actually came up last year there, looking at that problem was, should the corporation have to bear the responsibility for the retraining and redeployment of those people, whether inside the walls or not? So I think as, as companies are beginning to wrestle with thoughts like that, they see the huge business case around RPA, around AI. They also see the big, large-scale people moves and, and displacements. Um, what are we going to do about that? And, and people don't have a good answer there. So it's really an opportunity for us to step into things that are very of the moment and provide solutions um, that are fresh, uh, with capabilities that are fresh, perspectives that are fresh, and really add some value for people.